It's time for the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Each week, Trading Stocks Made Easy demystifies stock trading and investing so you can profit big. And now, here's the host of Trading Stocks Made Easy, the wealthy investor, Tyrone Jackson. Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Trading Stocks Made Easy with me, Tyrone Jackson, also known as the wealthy investor. Hey, I got to tell you, this episode is all about what's going on in tech. You know how I'm always saying to you, hey, listen, you better follow top line revenue on the companies that we invest in, right? Because Wall Street, 90% of the time, especially as it relates to tech, will always be looking at those top line revenue figures. Well, guess what? We just got a bevy of earnings released, and some of them were mixed. So I was thinking, how do I explain to you exactly what's going on in the stock market? Well, the first thing I can tell you right now, if you own uh, stock in any of the major tech companies like Google, Facebook, or Apple, you better listen to this episode until the end because we have some monster changes coming. Okay, so today's all about investing in tech. Now, a lot of you listening now are in my live program, and I know so many of you are planning to meet me in Maui for our big summertime event that we have coming up. So I can't wait to see you in person in Maui at this luxury resort, and uh, you should be getting an email about that soon if you are on the Wealthy Investor email list. So make sure you're doing that. Okay, in Maui, we're going to go through mostly advanced stock and options trades, but the landscape from a technical point of view probably... Well, it's probably going to change uh, by the time we get to July 2022. So let me explain to you what's happening. And the best way for me to explain to you what's happening, do you remember a company called AOL, America Online? Now, if you're a little bit older, I still look good. But if you're a little bit older like me, you remember America Online was a great way to actually access the interweb or the World Wide Web, as we used to say. Okay, where is AOL now? Is it a publicly traded company you can own shares in? The answer is no. A couple of companies from that era, like Yahoo, are still around. Why? Because the tech landscape is constantly changing. There's also a lot of competition afoot constantly. Now, the best way for you to understand this is, do you remember the game Monopoly? which really, if you break down the title, it's one many. What does that mean? The winner of the game is a person who not only has Bardwalk and Park Place, but literally you cannot go around the board without them taxing you or charging you rent. Well, something like that goes on in tech and has gone on for years and years and years and years. So now we're seeing some dynamic shift So if you own stocks in certain tech companies, it might be time to sell them as the landscape is shifting. Do you get what I'm saying to you now? So the object of the game in Monopoly is for one player to just dominate the board. And in the tech world, in the stock market today, we're going to see an awful lot of consolidation. What does that mean? One company buying another so that there'll be a few players instead of many players. So let me start off with what's going on. Facebook came out just 24 hours ago with their top line revenue figures. Now, they still had 20% revenue growth year over year. The company still made more year over year than it did in the prior year. So that's good. But if you read the report and you went into the details, you noticed something very interesting. In the third quarter of last year, there were 20 million new Facebook accounts that were opened worldwide. Remember, Facebook goes around the world. Well, in the fourth quarter of the year, we only saw 2 million new accounts opened on Facebook. And according to Facebook's earnings and the report that they issued to the public, 1 million people per day less are logging on to Facebook. So you get what's happening? They're picking up new accounts, but 1 million people less per day are actually logging on to Facebook. Now, we shouldn't panic because there's still billions of people logging on, but investing is about looking forward. Now, this is why Wall Street has sold off the uh, symbol today. And by the way, I, I keep calling it Facebook. It's actually Meta nowadays. So check the ticker symbol on Meta. 
Well, one million less people are logging in per day. Why, if you're a shareholder, should you be paying attention to that? Because that's one million less people per day to click on ads. So ad revenue may slowly, very slowly, start to decline on Facebook slash Meta over the next year. And if that revenue is declining, what's happening to the top line revenue? It's also going down. So if the top line revenue starts to decline, then Wall Street will start to sell off the stock. Now, in the past, I've always said if you want to be in the advertising game in the digital world, you have to own two stocks, Facebook and Google, right? But what happens if that revenue starts to decline because there are less users? Facebook or Meta won't be the dominant advertising platform that it is now. So if you start to see the stock go down slowly over the next six months to a year, you now know why. Well, that money is going somewhere. Where's it going? It's probably going to go to an Apple advertising platform or stay on Google. Now, what happened in the last quarter and year over year on Google? Google saw revenues rise substantially. How does it make money? Well, every time you do a search online, when you see ads on the page and you click on it, Google generates revenue. So Google did really well on those ads, but they saw extraordinary growth on YouTube. Remember, Google owns YouTube, right? So have you noticed when you go to YouTube these days, there are actually two ads that play, one that you can skip and another that you can't. That is by design. So if we're seeing Google revenue rise and users on Facebook declines, guess who's on their way to being the dominant player? Right now, today, it looks like Google. But here's what's going to happen. Somebody right now is inventing another platform that you and I can't see that will generate billions of dollars in advertising. So this landscape is constantly changing. Now, whenever I do a show like this that's highly nuanced, there's always someone who said, you said in your podcast to sell Facebook. I didn't say that. You said in your podcast to sell MetaShares. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that revenue growth looks like it may start to slow over the next six months to a year. Now, let me just explain this to you. Investing is all about the future, right? So if you buy shares in a company, you're not buying today's revenue. You're buying the fact that you think the revenue will be higher three years, five years from now. So when companies in the tech sector start to see revenue declines, what does Wall Street do? It leaves the stock pretty quickly. Now, uh, I always like to say the stock market is one game and 100 ways to play it. I don't want to confuse you here, but when stocks decline, for those of you who know how to use puts and spreads, you want to be all over them because as those shares are declining, you can make a fortune on the way down, even if you don't have a lot of money in the stock market. But that takes us back to what? Getting that financial education. So I want to tell you what else is going on in the tech sector and why this market we're in right now requires that you become an educated investor and not just someone who buys shares and says, well, it has to rise because I recognize the name of the company. No, 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 no. Back with more Trading Stocks Made Easy right after this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. Hey, welcome back. So we're talking in this episode about the tech landscape and how it changes. Some of you might not remember when Yahoo was the dominant ad platform online and out of nowhere, Google came along and established dominance. If you remember when you used to go to Yahoo many years, it's like 20 years ago, we used to go to Yahoo, you would see all these things on the homepage and they would say, click here for this, for entertainment, click here for stock market trading. Google came along and they said, we don't believe there should be anything on the homepage. 
And people in the tech world would say, that'll never work. You're going to take people to a blank page and they're going to search for whatever they want? And Google said, yeah, we just want to show them that the world is wide open. The critics at the time said, no way. But who's the dominant player in search? Well, it's Google. Now, what happened with Google that I want you to pay careful attention Now, if you've met me in person, you know how enthusiastic I am about the stock market. If you've never met me, you'll now know how enthusiastic I am about the stock market. Google delivered incredible earnings this year, and they did something just seven days ago that can change your life. You ready? They announced a 20 for one stock split. Now, that means that their share price is going to go down radically. Currently, at the time I'm taping the show, the stock price is around $3,000. Well, with a 20 for one stock split, the shares will split at around $150. What does that mean? If you don't own Google shares at $3,000, in July, when the split happens, now's the time to pick them up, around $150 or so. If they continue with these marvelous worldwide earnings, guess what's going to happen? That's going to drive the price of the shares higher. Now, this is not a show about stock splits. It's somewhat of a complex topic, although simple on its face. But when a big company like that, like Google, issues a stock split, not only do you and I want to reach for the shares, but pension funds, 401ks, mutual funds, and index funds by large amounts. So what do you think is going to happen to the share price 52 weeks after it splits if if the revenue continues to rise at the company? Well, Google's shares will very much be in favor. Do you get the picture? All right. So Without the right financial education, you'll never be able to take advantage of some of these what I'll now call millionaire trends in the market because you just simply won't be in the know. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving you a heads up to tell you that if you really commit to your financial education right now, it's going to pay off big over the next 36 months. So these are big things that are actually going on. And we know that Apple in the fourth quarter generated how much? $121 billion worth of sales. So they're the dominant player in, well, let's say just about everything. So there's a lot going on in the tech sector. Stay close to me. Stay close to the Wealthy Investor Program because there are going to be new trends that emerge here within the next 36 months that you can participate on through trading stocks or owning them for the long term. A lot going on. I'll see you right here next week on the next episode of Trading Stocks Made Easy. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. You've been listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Be sure to rate and review our show on iTunes. While you're on iTunes, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll automatically receive our next episode. 